Hello everybody, this is Bugsy. And this is the ever perverted gain. Ah, it's feel it feels really good to be back, guys. Oh uh, yeah, Bugsy's been calling me Nick throughout the uh shipping busters things, but that's my actual name. Basically. So yeah. Bugsy and I wanna we wanna talk about fifty shades of grey for a minute. And then we're gonna go, the reason why we're both, the reason why me and him are both back, the reason why I'm back for this is because we're going to talk to the black, we're gonna leave the black critic guy a response to be got a HK. And really, I gotta admit, you know, look, still looking back on this anime and watching it again, it still, to us, it's still pretty good. You know? But not even the point. Bugsy. Bugsy? Yeah? Why do me and why do me and you just giggle every time we see Fifty Shades of Grey? Or hear about it? Because. Because it is basically porn. It is basically porn of the highest caliber. And yet. You know, when people go look at porn, some people are usually going, Ugh, Oh my god! Oh my god, it's porn! This woman's getting from all sides! Oh my god! You know? Not every time. Every time, man! It's just, it's so fucking funny! You know? But people love this thing, and it's, it's, it's a fanfic! It's basically what it started out as a freaking fanfic of Twilight. That's strike one for me. I, I didn't like it. You know, we all knew a certain somebody whose name starts with an O. E even he is messed up and as nasty as he is. Goes like, this really isn't anything special. It's just like basically just the person getting freaking having a chick sign a contract so she can, so he can do whatever he wants to her. I'm like oh you know it's like whatever it's not that it's not that compelling everybody's like oh you know me and me and, and let me let me be truly honest with you guys me Harima and Asakamaru got drunk one night and we just read it and we were making fun of it as we were drunk we were just because <laughs> me, me, you know, me and freaking me and the guys just kind of see Fifty Shades of Grey as a joke. I mean, if you all like it, cool. But me and the guys just, we sit here. We sit here all the time. And whenever we hear it, we just giggle because it's just not that good. It is just porn. And I want you to know, guys, like a lot of people... A lot of people dropped out of the main role because they knew what it was. These two are like, oh yeah. Yeah, let's do this. My career's got nothing else better to do. I'm just saying, guys, this is, my, this is like my and the rest of us opinions. But what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Guinea Boy? Well, to be quite honest, it's. I mean, as porn, it's as porn. It's just like mm, it's okay. I mean, it's not great. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just in the middle. It's just a glorified fanfic. <laughs> oh man, all he, all he did was change a few things around, and boom, that's Fifty Shades of Grey. And trust me, and trust me. <laughs> Trust me, I read the book, and it is, and he, you know, freaking Mr. Gray is like freaking Edward if Edward had a lot of money. He could do whatever the fuck he wanted. And we talking like he's Kaiba rich. And if you guys don't know what who Kaiba, or what, did I, what do I mean by Kaiba rich, watch Yu-Gi-Oh, please. Watch Yu-Gi-Oh. Seriously, people, I make references. Look the references up. I don't always have to do the work myself. Just look them up. Anyways, anyways, Fifty Sheets of Grey. You know, I mean, it's like it's funny. I mean, and even when me and I and Harry were all sober, we just 
did these, we were reading them in these like weird voices. Regan Harmon was doing his best droopy, droopy uh, impression. <laughs> it was just like, we were all just sitting around laughing. Because at the same time, I mean, person, we want, the person who made that book, we want you to know that your thing to us, the big three, is nothing special. To be quite honest, yeah, oh yeah, it's me on Sakamaro. And really, it really isn't. It's just borderline porn with a story. It is porno with a story. And not even a good one. I've seen Bugsy. I've seen Bugsy and Harley will pull a better one out of their freaking asses, and I've seen that. Don't don't even think I didn't. It was horrible. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we we gonna we gonna bash you guys for loving on it. Just we know what it is, you know. It like Evangelion. We just kind of shake our heads like, yeah, you guys like it, all right. Me and me and everybody else are unfazed by it. Because it's not really a good, it's not really anything, it's just, it's just, nah. And dudes like, and, and the dudes like, um, the dudes at BDSM, yeah, he's like, hey, she's gonna do all this stuff, I'm like, and I can, she's on the contract, so I can do whatever I want. I can stick, I can stick jumper cables, jumper, jumper cables on her nipples. And as she gets shocked, I can stick my you-know-what in her, yeah. And what we mean by that, we are saying he's going to try and stick his, his, his dong in a ragu while she's getting shocked. <laughs> God, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. <laughs> We're just, me and, like, yeah, me, Aunt, me, Ani. And Bugsy are just sitting here going like, seriously, this thing got made into a movie. Other movie, you know, other more, much more deserving books actually should be made into movies, but nah, 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 nah. When we get the porn one, the porn one wants the guy, the freaking porn book basically, the freaking porn book gets made into a movie. I mean, yeah, yeah, they should try, they should have had my novel be the movie. Yeah, Ani, but if they did that, that that would kill everybody's decency. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, if freaking Fifty Shades of Grey can do it, and so can mine. <laughs> I mean, dude, the standard is so low. But uh, I'm gonna let Bugsy and uh. Harima slash Nick get to their business, but me and me and Harima are just we're, we're with Bugsy on this. It's just not it's it's not romantic. It's not even remotely sexy. And this is coming from the this is coming from the BDS champ on Sagamaru, and I know what I'm talking about. Oh man, you know it's not even sexy or a little bit. It's just kind of. <sighs> Got Bugsy, Nick, me and uh, me and Harry will take our leave. You guys go do your thing. Thanks, honey. Oh, Bugsy, I wanted to do this because people always ask me, "You like Bondage, right? Do you like Fifty Shades of Grey?" And I was like, "No, no, I fucking don't. It's not that good. It's not that good of a story." In the porn, we get best. Well, that's hardcore stuff. I thought you like the hardcore stuff. I do, and this is just, mm. Hmm. This is a great kind of set. That guy, that's my character. He's like, I can do whatever I want. 
So basically, he's like kind of going, screw the rules, I have money. But, oh yeah, Gene, what did you think? What do you think? So, the, mo the movie's just uninteresting to me. The fanfic, the whole fact that it was a fanfic first is just, mm. the fact that we read it, it's just even more freaking, ugh. This is, this is how, this is how freaking, this is the human race, people. We shun porn most of the time, but now it's being made into a straight up movie. Black Hurtica, stop rolling yourself. It's weird. Don't do it on camera. And I'm just standing here wearing my anime swag, as you can tell, looking sexy as ever, waiting for that special someone to make my evening. I'll be waiting. Okay, man. Okay, but let me, let me explain though. Yamada the Us is just. She's promiscuous, but not really. Because, yeah, she wants the bang chick. I mean, she wants the bang dudes. <laughs> oh my god, what a. What weird. What, think about what the series would be if she wanted the bang chicks. My god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, Gain. You've. You've. Oh my god, you've blown my mind! I mean, really, you don't really connect with Yamada because no one can really connect with Yamada. She's basically, she's basically a wannabe slut! Thinking that banging like a million chicks, I mean, a million, like a hundred dudes will make her freaking popular or some weird shit she got going on her head. Kosuda, Kosuda, or whatever his name is, you really don't feel a connection with him. I don't like the, the protagonist. The young he got straight up cool, cruel intention vibes from her. The young were just sitting there going like... I mean, I remember when we watched that scene where she was saying she wants to fuck her own brother. The young bugs were just going like... This is like cruel intentions, isn't it? I was like, yeah. Something bad's gonna happen to this dude. Probably. So, yeah. I mean, it's just not funny. And, I mean, it's funny a little bit. Because, because the maid's like, you can't get that wish. You're not gonna get that wish. You guys are related. I mean, me and Gene just kept, like, chuckling. Because that stuff was funny. Even the rich chick, like, watching uh, Yamada and Kosuna about to do it was even funnier. Because he's like... She's like, I shouldn't see this. I should just bust them. But I want to see it. I'm like, you're just stuck in the middle, aren't you? She got it. She gotta be wanting something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Nick. She gotta be wanting something. Yamada's yeah, friend is the only person we actually legitimately really like. Is he, is he always has to deal with Yamada's like pervy, pervy as all, oh, pervy as hell questions. Like, like she'll, she'll ask her the most like stuff about doing it. And she hasn't even done it herself. You know, she hasn't gotten, she ain't gotten down herself. But you know, like we say, she's promiscuous, but not really. I mean, yeah, we can we can sum up all the funny moments in just one freaking big laugh because there's a lot of funny moments. We ain't gonna lie, you you'll have a good time. You'll have a good time watching this thing. Like, right. okay, Come on, okay, let's talk about one. And we talked about this in our actual review. Kosina gets a boner. <laughs> Yamada runs away, and we just, and, and me and, me and, me and, me and, me and, old Nicky boy right here, and we just sit, we're just sitting here, we're like, 
We were both like, did that really happen? And I turned to him and I said, yeah. Yeah, Bugsy's right. There was a lot of just weird, sexual, funny moments that kind of happened. And yeah, no, we ain't gonna lie. Kosina is very, 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 very clueless character. I mean, come on. Even when Young is like about to just give, give, give him the key, if you know, if, if you know what I mean, he just doesn't pick up on it. And if you know me and me and me and the big ol' me and the me and Nicky boy, you, you know how we'd react to this. I mean, seriously, we've seen many oblivious characters in rom coms and harems. Oh, Sam is the most oblivious out of every protagonist we have ever seen. Yeah, Kosen has got that. Kosen has got that, like. Uh, what what the crap is going on? I know nothing about girls, but Sena, oh boy, Sena! Like before the last little bit of the episode where Sena's like, oh, they're gonna they wouldn't want to marry me, and it's pretty abundantly clear that all the chicks and Tenchi Muyo GXP wanted to jump his bones. Actually, it's. Pr me and Bugsy both know this is pretty obvious. And the dude gets an orgy at the end. A freaking orgy. Not even a whole thing. An orgy. You know how you know how we you know how me and Bugsy were like You man, you lucky. Not even Tenchi gets that. But he did get but he did, but his grandma did fill him up. Yeah, it's Dorian, Grandma. I'm like, what the f- God dang! The Dorian family are a bunch of incestuous pieces of crap! <laughs> I mean, everybody wanted to bang Tenji, dude. And it's one of the many questions we will never understand. And the rich chick, the one, the one with the red hair in this little picture right here. Uh, bad to be got HK though. Uh, she, like, she wants to bang her big brother. We have said that. But it's the. She's like. She's like never, like, going to get him. And, you know, she. Like, whenever a girl is remotely interested in him, she pays. She gets, like, her bodyguards to drag them away. I'm like. Let this dude get laid. You ain't gonna do anything. Let him get laid already. God dang. You wanna have him in a shrine like Helga Pataki. Are you gonna do anything? No. I'm just saying. So, I mean, some character just needs to stop with the scheme and just say, you know, hmm. I just want, I, I wanted to see her brother reject her, like, no, we're brother and sister. It's not gonna happen. We're blood related. I'd understand if you were like my step sister, but that ain't, that ain't going down. Yeah, it's it's still pretty quite stupid. And yeah, Yamuna's horny all the time, but not she's not technically. I mean, I, I it's not like she's really horny. It's just like she doesn't. She's like. It's like a teenage dude that, you know, basically wants, she, she wants sex, but she's kind of nervous and afraid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And really, I just, you know, I you're just not supposed to really connect with Yamada, not even a little bit, because what she wants is... What are what we just say she'd be a slut. But straight up, she'd be a big old slut. I do like I do like this character because this character wanted to get with the rich dude because, you know, he you know, the the redhead chick's big brother because he was rich. 
And she had a better chance. And the dude wanted Yamada. I'm like, dude, can't you see she's with somebody? Okay, man. Talk to your sister. Maybe things might work out between you two. That's some weird, incestuous Game of Thrones type sex. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, the Arrows deity. Every anime kind of has this character. A character that's kind of a narrator and kind of the internalness of our main character, and blah, blah, blah. Just to kind of move the plot, or just kind of, you know, just to kind of be, you know, the reaction, the character that gives out the most reaction. You gotta understand, this is how it goes in these types of animes. And trust me, trust me when I say B, B, C, G, I've seen all, me and the Nixer, we've seen a lot of anime. A lot of different animes with a lot of different things. We've seen a lot of romantic animes with a lot of different things in them. And yeah, you may say it's cliched. Hell, we'll say it's cliched. And you may say, yeah, it's easily forgettable, but to us, and to people that actually really do, that really do like this show, it's not really that forgettable. I mean, maybe, maybe you're just desensitized to a lot of, like, a lot of things. And maybe, yeah, it'd probably be a little bit easy forgettable to you, but I can still remember every episode in that freaking in this freaking series and still just come off with the most biggest grin on my face how about you Nick same same it's just it's it is it is funny and maybe it's because it's cliched maybe because it throws every cliche we like it so much it does this something different. The main character is a little different. It's just the way they execute it to us seems a little new and refreshing, even though it doesn't seem that new to you. But to us, this anime will always hold a very special place with us. <laughs> you know? It doesn't have to be... You know, anime sometimes doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. But, you know, it doesn't have to be groundbreaking. It doesn't have to be memorable. You don't have to connect with every single character. But the moments and the fun you get out of it, and the enjoyment you get out of it, is what you get out of it. It's what you want out of it. And to us, we got that. We got that in spades. You know... I understand BCG that you don't that you don't see you don't see our view. And I ain't gonna I ain't gonna expect you to, man. I'm not gonna expect you to. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, you should like it because of this. If it's easy if it's easy easily forgettable to you, I understand. But to us, it will always be. It will always be one of those freaking animes we just look at, watch again, and still Still, at everything, we crack a smile at it. You know? You don't have to respond to us or even reply to us, man. But, that's how I feel. Ditto. We'll see you guys, we'll see you later. And, Black Critic Guy, you know, I ain't gonna say we disagree with your, we, we disagree with your freaking anime, your freaking review. But, this is just how we see it. Yeah. And we actually do want a season two. Hopefully, the rich girl's brother will actually freaking notice that she wants to bang him. And then we want to see him get reject her. And then we want to see her go a little. We want to see her go a little cuckoo. But we don't see. Um, uh, me and Bugsy both know that's not that's not gonna happen. These anime these animes sometimes are not really that popular. But this one, to us, was fun. A little fun, enjoyable ride from all the fighting and from all, from all the fighting animes, from all the tournament animes, from all the uh, 
gratuitous fan service animes. This thing has fan service, but not not that much. And everything else. So I we see this as a delightful little break. We didn't our we didn't when we watched it and we didn't say it in the first review, but it's still there. It still means something to us. So, sir, we bid you adieu. I'm Bugsy, and I'm the ever perverted, but ever so wonderful Dean. And we'll see you later, guys. Yeah, I'm back doing anime reviews with my, with my best buddy. What you gonna do? See you guys later. Bye, folks. Oh yeah, stay tuned for another video because I'm going to be talking about freaking Banjo-Kazooie actually making a fucking comeback and I, it, it's going to be beautiful, I'm going to cry, everybody's going to cry, it's just going to be so beautiful. See you guys later. Peace. And Twizzles. Why are you saying Twizzles? Blasphemy is going to freaking be like, why are you guys saying Twizzles? Hey, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna trip out about it if we say twizzles. Oh, you're saying twizzles, not me. See you guys later. Bye, guys.